Hi friends, we will learn about NumPy library and this library is used to manage multidimensional arrays in Python. So the name uh, NumPy has come because of numerical Python and it is this particular code in this is highly efficient and with less code we can achieve our objective. Though there are other uh, Python functions also, we can use it but this gives us a more speed and less code. And similarly, with the speed and functionality is much more compared to the other uh, generic basic Python code. So the NumPy is quite popular for mathematical calculation and the matrix and working in that multidimensional arrays. Now, how we'll install it? Just in the command prompt, you type pip install NumPy and we'll import it. Import NumPy as a NP. Why NP only? You can give any other name, but the standard convention is used NP. So we can easily refer to our variable. So the name P, NP is used and you can also check the versions of it. With this knowledge, let's go how practically we'll install and use NumPy. We are inside our Google Colab platform. So this is a free Google platform, uh, cloud platform where you can use Python. And here many libraries are already installed. So you just need a Gmail ID or a Google account to use this. Just search Google Collab. You'll start using this. This is a new file we have created. And let's first start with installing uh, our NumPy. So here I'm adding a code block here. So what I will do is pip install NumPy. So now I'll execute this. Now, because it is already installed for me, so what is requirement already exists satisfied so numpy this is what the version is now let's just find out even the same thing you can do it in your platform it's anaconda or visual studio whatever code your platform you are using you can do that also now the first thing is let's add one more code to check the version of it so we'll say code here it is our code so we we, have, we are sure that our numpy is installed so still inside that I will, I will be importing it, import numpy as np. So we are first calling numpy where library is connected. Now we'll use the version. So we'll say print. Now we'll say numpy version is, this is the te text part. So we'll add the version now np dot version that's all let's just run this and see what version is numpy version is this is the here the version is given in fact while while installing also here the same thing was given now uh, importing print the number of okay this should go back a little so we'll uh, so now we'll start creating the our numpy arrays first we'll import our uh, numpy though we have at the top we have imported let's for the continuation we'll add that so we'll say import numpy as np so in one cell if you are importing it then subsequently it's not required but that cell must be active so now let's create the array or npr we are this is the name we are we are going to use it so numpy array is npr you can give any other name also no problem but this is for our easy understanding so i'm saying array now I'll say inside this, I'll create a list here, 4, 5, 9, anything you can do it. Now that's all, our array is ready. Now let's print it and see how it is. So I'm just printing it. Here it is. So this is the, our first array. Now in, then let's create some uh, arrays using a list and tuple also. So for that, let's uh, close this inside here we'll add one one more code block let's now let's add one list so l1 equal to now 3 to 8 anything sorry three elements or you can add more elements here now let's npr equal to np dot array now i'm creating using the list above that's all this is this will be taking a list we are creating a npr now yeah, here it is. Now let's create using a tuple. So T1, I'm just creating a tuple. So giving 8, 4, 9. So this tuple will use NPR equal to NP dot array. Inside this, the tuple name T1. Now print NPR. 
or let's give this as NPR one. Here we'll use NPR one. Fine. Now let me run this code and see how. Here is our output. So these two uh, NumPy arrays we have created by first taking a list and then using a tuple. Now next we'll learn more about the dimension, data types, and all. I'll just request you you practice this this much code only and mo more about this collab. Uh, these files whatever is you can download it so directly upload it and this entire page will be available to you in this particular case you have very less to one or two lines of code in each cell this may not be a uh, that difficult to write it but when you go and move to a bigger uh, codes and all it will be easy for you to download and upload it into your even I can share it but here the share button you can share your code with your friends also so that will be directly on uh, from the cloud platform the link will be available to your friend to op uh, open the file and run it also in the next part we'll more more about the dimensions data types and all this will run I'll just request you please subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon so you'll be notified as and when we add new new tutorials we frequently do that also and if you have any doubt suggestion question use the comment section below to post it thank you for watching